kindred spirits. Welcome to Mystical Adventures. My name is Anne Vivian. Let's go on a mystical adventure together, shall we? This is the show where we explore all things mystical, healing, creative, and inspiring. We're going to go on a mystical adventure today into shape-shifting into Caridwin Cauldron. And what better time to explore such beautiful divine feminine energy than this sacred time of year as we close in on All Hallows' Eve, Halloween, Samhain, All Saints' Day, and embrace the spirit world. The veil is getting thinner between the worlds. Are you feeling it? I am so delighted that you've joined me on today's show. I want to remind you that I actually have a shape-shifting guided meditation, which I have created and produced myself with music, some of which is by yours truly. The narration, the whole production is by yours truly. It's on my YouTube channel, which is Creative Psyche Studio. If you search for that on YouTube, it should pop up. We're going to pull some tarot cards. We're going to talk about Carowin shape-shifting. I'm going to guide us through an exercise to help us use shape-shifting and the wisdom of understanding what's in our cauldrons to create more joy in life. It's been a bit of a difficult time for a lot of people all over the world. And I'm noticing, are you noticing that there seems to be a bit of continued overwhelmment with everything that's happened with the pandemic and all of the changes and shifts and changes with things opening, closing, in person, online, the stress that comes with everything that we have dealt with over the past couple of years. And people are feeling overwhelmed. People are feeling a lack of joy. Are you feeling a lack of joy? They're feeling a lack of stability. A lot of people. And you don't have to feel that way. You can choose your own life path. But but I do want to acknowledge that a lot of people have really been struggling as in the collective. And so I I was not surprised that the Spirit Helper of the Week, who is Caridwin, wanted to give us some wisdom and guidance about how to create more joy in our life. And this is really a continuation of the message for October. As you recall, the beginning of October, another Celtic goddess, another Celtic divine mother, Danu, bestowed upon us a message for guidance for this whole month of October about integration and assessing our inner polarities, becoming aware of our inner masculine and feminine and inner parts, and integrating, balancing them. So today, Caridwen really has a continuation message about integrating our consciousness, how to shapeshift our consciousness and create more joy. And it's really a continued adventure into our inner parts, our inner polarities, and how to balance them. Is that all I wanted to say about that? It's just so important for us to be in touch with those inner polarities, the practical, but also the impractical, the dreamy, the creative, the playful. And a lot of us have have lost touch of those parts. And you can't be too hard on yourself, my friend, because we've all been through this collective fire that we've walked through. Some might call it a collective trauma. And It's reaction is very, our reactions are very personal and how we're responding to everything that's happening globally and in our personal lives. It's, it's very personal. And if you are noticing a response and noticing you're not as joyful or as inspired or as motivated as you have been a few years ago, then don't be too hard on yourself. Don't guilt trip yourself or beat yourself up. Remember This has been a year of a lot of challenges. And although there is a lot of support and divine challenges, a divine inspiration and resources being handed to us and a lot of opportunities for positive change, it's also been 
a year of us walking through a fire together. And so validate your feelings and love yourself through whatever you're feeling is what I would like to encourage you to do, my friend. I'm going to pull some cards for the energy for this upcoming week of October 26, 2021, and see what spirit messages are coming through. And then I'll share you the message, share with you the message from Carid Wynn, who is the spirit helper of the week. Oh, that's interesting. I'm pulling a nine of swords. Miracles. And... Earth Star Chakra Initiation, Nine of Swords. Oh boy, have you been feeling that way? You're waking up in the middle of the night, you're anxious, you're feeling even disturbed, hopeless or scared. There's a lot of people feeling this energy right now. and. There is a lack of groundedness and stability among a lot of people, a lack of feeling nurtured and safe. The beautiful dreams that we want to have at night are replaced with some anxieties and fears. When we're having anxieties and fears, when we're having monsters show up in our nightmares, it's a great time to face those fears, to reprogram those old thoughts, beliefs, patterns, and to nurture ourselves. I feel like this is, this is perhaps something a lot of us are granted the opportunity to address this week. Or you might be aware of people around you are feeling unsure of themselves, or they might be feeling like they are comparing themselves to a time when they seemed more energetic, they seemed more motivated. Is that you? Is that someone you know? Miracles is the angel card. And I feel this week there are openings, there are portals being opened all over the earth, all over this dimension. And we are being blessed with new paradigms, downloads, opportunities to shapeshift and find a new way to remember that miracles are actually normal and common. N miracles are actually natural. And can you open yourself to the possibility of change? Can you open yourself to finding a new way of moving through life, finding a new miraculous normal? And seeing where those sparkles of light, your guardian angels, divine spirit, Jesus, your guides, your ancestors are coming through. Your higher self is, is appearing just behind the veil to offer you a miraculous solution or opportunity. We're going to experience that this week. Notice where, perhaps even in your dreams, perhaps in mundane situations, places, you notice a miraculous inspiration or opportunity. An earth star chakra. We're opening up to the new earth collectively as we walk through this fire. And feel my old center. I'm uncomfortable. Part of this is growing pains, my friend, and we must be able to slough off the old skin. And like a snake, and experience that healing rebirth, the healing rebirth of the catechist, and to be able to redefine our identities, perhaps even re recenter ourselves. Our center of gravity has shifted individually, collectively, as we're going through this beautiful earth transformation into the new earth. So don't ignore those nightmares and fears and that lack of hope, embrace it, look at it. And as you express it and validate the, the right to feel however you feel, you're able to 
love yourself and nurture yourself. Perhaps you're able to love and nurture someone else. And this opens the door for allowing other parts of you to speak up and other emotions to flow through you and for you to get in touch with your intuition. It's hard to get in touch with your intuition if you're suppressing certain parts of yourself that want to be expressed. Don't forget to call on the power of prayer, I feel like, is another message that wants to come through. So those were the card oracle tarot messages of the week. I would now like to share with you the message of the week from the divine Celtic mother of the cauldron, Caridwyn. We're having a very Celtic month. There was Danu, the Irish Celtic divine mother, and now Caridwyn, the divine mother associated with the cauldron, magic, shape-shifting, transformation. The, the cauldron is such a beautiful symbol. So many beautiful metaphors with the cauldron. It's obviously very feminine and it can be symbolic of the womb, the yin, the void. Also integration, as we were talking about, integration of the four elements. We've got earth, air, water, fire. We've got the water that you put in the cauldron to boil, the fire to heat the water, the smoke that's created, the vape, vapors that are created and steam that's created from boiling the liquids and the food that is created after you transform all those cr ingredients into dinner. So here's a channeled message from Karen Wood and I open myself to a spirit helper every week to bestow upon us a message from higher consciousness to help us through the, help us navigate through the energies of the week ahead. So here's the message from Carabin for the week of October 26, 2021. Happy almost Halloween. Message from Carabin. The happy Halloween was from me, not Carabin. <laughs> oh, happy Halloween. Channeled message from Carabin. Pull it together, Anne. <laughs> I am sweet, but also salty, and at times sour. Life has different flavors, and you must choose which ones you will emphasize in a particular recipe. Right now, you may notice the tragedies and blockages that seem to be around you and others. You may find it hard to see all of the delicious flavors available to you in this unique life. It may feel like there's a short supply of the ingredients needed to make your delicious masterpiece. Worry not, my child. There are many flavors to be tasted and enjoyed in this world yet, and you have only just begun. It's worth taking a moment and appreciating the tastes and aromas of that which you have already created. You have a lot at your disposal in this life as far as opportunities for creating the abundance and joy and reverie that you want to create. Life is not about undertaking a task and creating a perfect result the very first try. Life is about trying and failing and enjoying the failures, which are really only experiments that lead to more wisdom and understanding. And then trying again. It is about enjoying the trials and errors and creating even more masterful, masterful concoctions as you try and fail and succeed and try and fail and succeed again and again. You are understanding your own strengths more and more as you give yourself permission to fail. You understand true victory only when you have tasted defeat and disappointment. The way to cultivate more delicious joy and magic in life is to take one step at a time towards whatever it is you desire with a light heart and allowing yourself to enjoy creating your recipe as you are cooking it. You can look down at your cauldron and smell what's bubbling and tickling your nose. You can laugh at this playful process of finding the right combination of ingredients. If your final dish is distasteful, you can laugh at that as well. If the experiment turned out to be a masterpiece, that is funny and worth laughing at over too. The joy and magic in life comes from adopting an attitude of trust that things will flow together and that you will find a way to overcome any obstacle. 
The universe wants to help you as you stir your concoction and ask for wisdom and knowledge and the resources you need. The transformation that happens when you create your unique creations is a natural one. You learn to bend and to flow, to spread your wings, or to swim through the waters, or gallop through the field, as needed, depending on the situation. Can you shapeshift into the form of yourself that is needed for the task at hand? Allow yourself to shift your thinking and attitudes as your inner wisdom guides you. And notice how this shifts your outer experience and reality. Allow some shifts and changes to happen as you experiment with this recipe. And notice what amazing new forms of delicious nourishment and pleasure you create. Ones you could have never dreamt of had you not been able to shift your consciousness and change as needed. A change would do you good. Allow yourself the mobility. Allow yourself the freedom to rewrite those parts of your life that need a new recipe. You are in control of what you put in each recipe. And the universe is delighted to cook these masterpieces with you. Thank you, Caridwyn, Divine Celtic Mother, for that message of joy, of wisdom about how to create more joy. Have fun cooking your recipe. Enjoy the creative process of creating that recipe, even if it doesn't turn out. You can laugh at yourself. Laugh at the process. And if it does turn out, that's fun too. And I love how she encouraged us to change and experiment with the recipe as needed to change your consciousness as needed. And this creates the true shape shifting and transformation of the soul. I want to talk about what you're cooking up in your life, my friend. What are the mix of elements right now in your life? If you're watching this and not listening, I am going to now bring up a graphic of the four elements. Thank you, Dave. And let's take a look at these four elements. The elements that cauldron, that Caridwen was hinting at in her cauldron. We've got earth, that beautiful plant at the bottom, air, the sky, fire at the top, and the water with the lily pads. Let's think about these as elements in your life. I can, I can connect them with the four psycho, to the four psychological functions that Jung came up with, or six functions of psychosynthesis creator, Asajoli. And these would be sensing, feeling, intuiting, will, thinking, and imagination. Earth. And I have created my own associations with each element according to these functions. So please know that descriptions vary by who has, whoever is coming up with descriptions and categories for the elements. But according to Anne Vivian's categories, Earth, we've got sensing your sense of practical consciousness, nurturing your body, your senses. Is there structure, stability, grounding? That is the element of water. Where is your life abundant or lacking in earth element? The practicality, the senses, nurturing your senses, your body, structure, stability, grounding. Water. The water element associated with feeling and intuition the feeling or intuitive functions associated with emotional expression and validation, intuition, nurturing your soul, release, cleansing, intimacy, spirituality. Where am I abundant or lacking in my life in the water element? Fire. I'm associating with will. The function of will and fire element is associated with inspiration, spontaneity, drive, excitement, action, adventure, the sense of purpose, 
fun, play, creativity, sexuality, and spirituality. Expression. Yes, I did say spirituality unintentionally twice, both with water and fire. I think you could put spirituality with any of the elements, but I'm trying to put them in categories that make sense. So spirit wanted me to acknowledge that fire can also be expressing the spiritual component in your life. So where in your life are you lacking or abundant in that fiery energy, that inspiration, that spontaneity? You've got air, thinking, imagination. The elements of thinking, the elements of imagination. Air is associated with logic, planning, imagination, mental stimulation, new ideas, speaking my truth, perspective, insight, and knowledge. Where in my life am I, am I abundant in air or lacking? And you can even imagine a particular life area as a mixture of these elements. Try to visualize right now one particular life area. It could be a project, a relationship, a goal. One life area. And imagine if that life area could be a cauldron of these four elements. Spirit perhaps being the fifth element. What is the balance of elements in this area do i have too much earth element too much emphasis on the practicality and the r realistic day-to-day -day and the structure or not enough do i have too much emphasis on new experiences excitement adventure change the fire element or not enough do i have too much emotion, intuition, and yin energy of the water? Or am I lacking and need more emotional wisdom, intuitive connection? What about air? Am I thinking clearly? Do I need more clarity? Do I have too much logic in this area? Do I need more logic? Do I need more mental stimulation or imagination? Maybe more research, too much research. Where am I with the air element in this project, in this life area? And you might even look at the middle of that graphic as spirit. Is spirit missing in this life area? Am I connected with the consciousness that transcends all of this earthly experience? interpenetrates and transcends, whose circumference is everywhere and whose center is nowhere. I think I said that wrong. <laughs> there's, there's an infinite amount of circumference and centers in spirit. And perhaps you need to call upon your higher power in this, in this area you're thinking of. And now think of your whole life. Think of your whole life, my friend. What element is emphasized in your life right now, what element is perhaps lacking? If you are feeling a lack of joy and you're feeling perhaps overwhelmed by what has been going on in the world, and maybe that's not you, but if it is you, I want you to think about how you can add in more joy. Is it the joy of spontaneity, the joy of fire, the joy of being playful and having an adventure, maybe changing things up? Is it the joy of your senses? Maybe the earth, you need more sensory pleasures. You need more mental stimulation. What small changes could you make to change things up, be more playful, be in the moment and shift, shape shift your consciousness? How do you need to shift your consciousness and transform as we move into this next chapter, in order to be your joyful, inspired, thriving self. I know I could use a little bit more fire. And when sometimes I'm feeling a lack of inspiration, I just change things up. I will listen to some music I've never listened to before. Or go 
see it, go to an event or see someone I haven't seen before. I'll create some art. And as I make art, it helps me tune into my inner child, and my inner joy. I'll connect with people. Maybe, maybe you need to dance around your home, clothes optional, together or alone. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in, my beautiful kindred spirit, and for going on this mystical journey with me today. Remember to mix your cauldron, mix your recipes in your cauldron with joy and enjoy creating your concoctions as you do. So have a blessed Samhain, a blessed All Saints Day, blessed Halloween. May you connect with your ancestors and spirits and have a healing experience at this time of year. Thank you again so much for tuning in and I will see you next show. Blessings. Blessings.